so what are we going to use? In other words, what is the method we're going to use? And the method which, again, we discussed is IRAC. You get that's what you'll be doing. Everybody understand that's what you're going to do in law school. It's what you're going to have. It's how you learn in law. And it's how you're going to approach the LSAT. And we'll discuss its specific application. Uh, stop for a second. You want to be lawyers, right? Yes? Yes. Okay. Who wants to be an attorney who doesn't understand with great precision what the issue is? Who is it that wants to do that? So you want to argue in front of the Supreme Court on the Affordable Care Act. That's what you want to do. And you stand up in front of the court, and the court says, well, counsel, what's the issue? And you fail to say, well, with respect, Your Honor, the issues are, is the Affordable Care Act a proper exercise of Article I, Section 8 Commerce Clause powers? And in the alternative, is it, is it to be treated as a tax? Now, if you don't say words like that, what would happen to you? Yes. Death by humiliation. <laughs> right? Do you understand I need you on board? I need you to hold yourself to a standard not required by the rest of society. You now have a standard of proof. You must own the issue. And on the LSAT, the issue is going to be the form of the question. The issue in logical reasoning is, what's the flaw? The issue in logical reasoning is going to be strength in this or weak in this. That's the issue. And we'll get into analytical and we'll get into reading comp. But you will just relentlessly now do IRAC. OK, so I is the issue. What is the R? The R is the rule, which basically means the law. So what do you do with the issue? Well, you take the issue and you apply it to the law. So again, we're in front of the court. And maybe Justice Scalia looks at you and Justice Scalia says, well, counsel, with respect to Section 340B2A of the Affordable Care Act, isn't that inconsistent with the position you're taking? Well, what do you think you would, uh, Justice Scalia's uh, response would be if you said, gee, judge, uh, I missed 342B, whatever it is. What, uh, what, what reaction do you think you'd get from the court? Right, death by humiliation. You have to know the law. But again, knowing for an attorney is there is a standard, and there's going to be somebody like me on the other side, and I'm out to kill you. I'm not taking prisoners. I'm prepared. And if you are not prepared, I will crush you. You understand that? We're all in therapy. You get it, right? This is where you're going. And this is what the test is measuring. So with respect to the law, in logical reasoning, the law is the argument. And so you're going to read three sentences the way you've never read three sentences before in your life. With clarity, with precision, with demanding of yourself, you own 100% of those words. Take the issue, so there's a flaw. Take the, the argument, which is the law, and say, all right, I've read this. In my mind's eye, I apply the issue to the law. That is the what? What are you doing when you apply the issue to the law? That's the analysis. It's the analysis. And what does the analysis lead you to? Conclusion. Now, this exam has been crafted by the folks at the Law School Admissions Council. It is predictive of your first year law school class rank. That's its only purpose for existence. IRAC is the method of learning you will use in law school. How does it not benefit you to apply that method to this exam? And it will. It will.